What's going on guys? This is the first part of the FM bars where I'm going to be playing Marzi Gaming HD's Chelsea as Manchester City. So very much looking forward to this first game. Hopefully I can get off to a great start, get all two points against Marzi. And yeah, all I'm going to do then is have a quick look at the squad, uh, create a quick tactic and I'll get back to you once I've sorted that out. All right, there she is. I noticed at Man City straight away a lack of any real good wide players. I mean, you have Nasri, you have Navas, but there's not really too much depth in the wide areas. And besides, I prefer playing narrow formations anyway. So you can see we've gone with a 4-2-2-2, slightly asymmetrical. I love that little diamond at the top there. You've got Nasri, Silva, Dzeko and Aguero, all very attack-minded players in that diamond. And you've got Fernandinho and Yaya Torre behind them giving them the freedom to go and express themselves. Um, I sort of mulled over putting Torre further forward, but I don't know, with his advancing years and the fact that I don't know there are more creative forces at Man City to put, be put into this diamond, I thought his old head would best be used further back, sort of in a more defensive duty. We've gone with a flat back four, but these full backs will be bombing forward at any opportunity, despite the fact that they are on support and just normal goalkeepers and defenders. We've gone with control. We've gone with fluid. I don't want to be too attacking against Chelsea because the likes of Hazard, Willian, really do have the pace to hurt us. And that's been reflected in the team instructions. I've not gone with push higher up. Uh, I want to play narrow and exploit the middle, obviously, because of the way the team is set up formation-wise. I've got typical... Uh, possession based instructions here um, I'll probably be looking to change some of these uh, in the match anyway um, if I find any problems with the tactics so that's a very brief explanation of how I've set Man City up tactically to try and beat Marzi Gaming HD's Chelsea I think we're ready to go into the game so I will see you there alright then it's match day it's the versus cup it's Man City against Chelsea. I'm very curious to see how Marzi has set up his Chelsea side. He seems to have not taken half as much time to setting his tactic up as I did. So hopefully that's selected. Of course I want Big Vinny Company as captain. I'm pretty confident about this, I'm not going to lie. I think the tactic will work. It's a tactic I've, I've uh, tried on various different offline saves. The, the diamond at the top really does seem to be very effective. Two down the middle, but two sort of wider. It does confuse uh, at least AI defences. We'll see if it confuses Chelsea's defence today. And just go over the lineup again. You've got Joe Hart in goal, back four of Connor of Mangala Company, Zabaleta, Fernandinho and Torre doing all the dirty work in midfield. Uh, it's just gone off, but the front four, Silva and Nasri just behind, and Aguero and Dzeko leading the line for us today. As we wait now for FM Classic to do its thing. They've gone with a bloody hell. I wasn't expecting him to be so hipster. It is, it is a very sort of basic hipster formation. But I'm, I'm very proud of him for choosing to go with such an asymmetric formation. It should be a clash of two titanic tactical minds. But his lineup, it, it seems Felipe Luis in particular is being pushed forward. Uh, at left back, maybe I could exploit the left flank if he finds himself caught out of position. Ivanovic, to nowhere near the same extent, his crossing stats and his sort of support stats aren't really as good. So I can understand why he's done that. Fabregas and Matic, obviously, good centre mid pairing. Uh, with Willian pushed slightly further back. Good defensive qualities Willian has for someone with such a slight figure. 3D camera, so let's hope my computer can manage to hack that. Uh, Chelsea will kick us off. And uh, the game's going very slowly. That's the first thing I will notice. Brilliant tackle from Kolarov to start us off. Uh, one thing I've noticed straight away is the face packs aren't completely broken on FM Classic like they were in the FM League. And the first real sort of meaningful highlight here comes from Chelsea. Costa whips it in and Zabaleta deals with it well. Let's get the ball forward now. Dzeko, hold it up. That's brilliant. Aguero, what can he do? As part of the leading line of this diamond, he's going to shoot. 
and it's going to be well wide. But uh, good effort there from Aguero. Another highlight. Again, it starts deep in our half. Could we possibly counter? Or will Chelsea get a lovely, uh, well-worked set-piece goal here? Hazard's going to skip through the defence. That's... Oh, what a clearance from Torre. Lovely stuff. I got him back there to do the dirty work. I wasn't sure whether I was sacrificing some of his attacking talent. But he's certainly done a job at defence there. Great clearance. And we survived that scare. They've definitely had the first clear-cut chance of the match. Despite our earlier quote-unquote dominance. Currently very fearful of my laptop overheating. And melting the table beneath me. It seems to be taking a lot out of its processing power. It's taken roughly 20 real minutes to sim 20 minutes in the game and company will deal with it and maybe we can launch another attack here Zavala on the flanks I said they would get forward despite their deceiving position on the tactical layout but no Oscar maybe he can set up an attack here Willian whips it in early Diego Costa it's 1-0 bugger They've had us on the counter. They've been better in the first 20 or so minutes. Disappointing. Let's see if we can bounce back. And now Chelsea have another highlight. This could be embarrassing. I draw conclusions way too quickly. The moment they have the ball in our half, it's embarrassing. Go on. Oh, and Terry slipped. It's Aguero. It's one all straight away. Aguero. Get in there. John Terry's mistake and Sergio Aguero, of course he capitalises. He is world class. And it doesn't matter what tactical role is set him up as there. He's always going to gobble up a chance like that. John Terry's mistake and it's one all straight away. I believe that we will win. And now a set piece comes in. They're not going to do another. Oh, nobody's marking Terry. Cahill, the two defenders combine. And this could be a really high scoring game, I think. 2-1 within 30 minutes. What was that? Ugh, attacking link-up between the two defenders. Basic set-piece defending, and I very much regret not doing much on the set-pieces now. Unbelievable scenes. It's 2-1 to Chelsea. And just as I thought we were starting to get more into this game, it's turned out... They've pegged us back again, and we have to go again. We have to hope that John Terry will slip up and give us another guilt edge chance for Aguero. He seems to be the only one capable of doing well in scoring in this game. Ivanovic now to Diego Costa. Willian whips it in. Diego doesn't even whip it in, to be fair. Mangala clears. Felipe Luis will sort of amble back towards the ball under no pressure, despite Dzeko being there. Uh, lumps of long ball forward. Long ball United over here. And now Joe Hart. I don't know why I'm commentating so excitedly over a, a long punt forward. That wasn't a long ball. That was a direct pass. Aguero on the volley. And he scoops it over the bar. That was dreadful. From Aguero. If he'd have caught that just a little bit better. Then it would have been 2 all. Definitely going to be looking to employ quite a lot of tactical changes. In the second half or even at half time actually but uh, we're going to be going into the break 2-1 down and needing to do something quite drastic it's going to be difficult but let's see what we can do i'm going to go straight onto the tactic screen when it lets me and take let's take off some of these instructions i don't want to be as expressive because i think it's hurting us i want to actually play a bit wider um, I think it's just too bogged down in the middle at the moment. The overlapping fullbacks and the sort of edges of the diamond should be the players that provide the width for us. I'm going to push a bit higher up. I'm going to not go as short in the passing. And I think we are good to go there for the second half. I'm sure Marzi is very happy with his first half and is not looking to change much in the tactics. Okay, we seem to be off for the second half without the pointless start of the second half highlight okay that's new but we'll live with it hopefully we can push on in the second half at least grab a draw because that would be a credible result against Chelsea a team who on paper are probably slightly better than us but I think we're giving a decent account of ourselves here 
but let's hope that our other players can contribute a little bit more in the second half. I've been disappointed with the likes of Silva, Dzeko, Fernandinho. Those players really have not contributed anything to chance creation. I think we definitely need to switch to a higher tempo if we're going to get anything from this game now. We're, I think, just dwelling on the ball too much. I think you want to see the ball getting worked into the box a bit better. You want to see us be a bit more patient and just have better quality chances. That's the thing about Chelsea. In this game, they've had better quality chances than us and they've taken them. Now, Collar off with a throw. It was good that we're deep in their half for once. David Silva, can you actually do something in this match? Have I made a mistake in sitting you too deep? Have we, we've got a penalty. Willian has tripped. I think it was Dzeko. I'd be surprised. He's a big guy. Uh, it's going to be Yaya Torre, I think, who's going to take it as the club captain and probably the most calm and composed set-piece taker. Let's see what he can do from the spot. If he misses, I'm going to tear my hair out. I think we've worked very hard for this opportunity. Let's level the game. Come on, Yaya. Don't let me down, son. Bang! Straight through the middle. Courtois goes the wrong way. It's 2 all. Yaya. Yaya Torre. Get in there. Let's try and build on this now. This is a great start to the second half. I'm going to make a little tweak, uh, seeing as um, Marzi is doing the same. I'm going to switch Nasri and Silva around. I want to get Silva more involved in the game because he's more dangerous going forward than Nasri. Nasri can sit back, maybe spray out a few passes at the base of this diamond and really do some damage there. I want Silva further forward. For sure. And let's see what that little change actually does then to the team. Loic Remy has come on for Willian. That is a interesting change. It's going to be a bit more pace about them now. So I'm not going to push higher up. Have I got that in my instructions? That's quick substitutions. Learn to FM. Um, yeah, maybe don't push higher up. Cheers, pal. We've got another highlight then. Just uh, about 10 minutes later, Ivanovic to Matic. It's decent pressing we're doing, but Chelsea probably can find a way out from this. It's Hazard to Ramirez, who uh, I haven't seen. is maybe also a substitute. Good tackle from Kolarov. That's really enthusiastic play from the Serbian, I want to say. Silva now switches it to Dzeko. This is a counter. Aguero, how did you miss that? Oh, it was deflected, actually. It's a corner. <laughs> I thought that was the miss of the season. He only had the keeper to beat, but I think one of their defenders got a tackle in. Silva now whips it in, and that's going to be cleared by Ivanovic. Unlucky, lads. Let's make some substitutions. So I think Fernandinho has had a poor game. Zabaleta also has a knock. So what I'm going to do then is bring Sanya on for Zabaleta. A like for like change there. Another like for like change will be... I'm going to go for... Um, Frank Lampard over Fernando as the ball-winning midfielder. Bit of an odd role for uh, Frank Lampard. We're used to seeing him be a playmaker, but um, I definitely think Yaya Torre is best as the playmaker. Hopefully, we can grab this. Oh, no, Fabregas is going to score this. GG. No rate. Oh, Hazard pounces on the rebound. Oh, no, he doesn't. See, that's the thing with pessimism. You're either... You're either correct or you're or you're pleasantly surprised. And I'm presently surprised there. Because Fabregas had a golden chance to score that free kick and win the game possibly for Chelsea. But he hasn't taken it. So the game is still deadlocked after 75 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes to go then. And I'm going to make a final change. I'm going to bring Jovetic on for Dzeko, who's had a pretty poor game in all fairness. Decent holding up the play, but not really contributing too much going forward. I'm going to turn back, push higher up, turn it back on, going much higher tempo. <sighs> Another highlight. I prefer it not to be one, to be honest. I'd take a draw at this point. Remy, Fabregas, and Sanya now with the interception. Launches it forward to a Chelsea player. Nice one. That's what I bought you one for. Ivanovic with a hurried clearance to Hazard. Again with the background noise. That's not going to sound good. That's really not going to sound good. And Diego Costa's there. What a save from Joe Hart. Claps all round. 
Prem oh my goodness me. Double save from Joe Hart has kept us in this game amid the background noise that made it sound like I was in a war zone. Absolutely crazy scenes from Joe Hart. Re Nobody's picked Remy up and he could have played someone in there. But Fabregas is going to kick it against Torre. The, f the scenes, if we counter here, Aguero is going to get this long ball forward from Torre. And now he's going to switch the play to... Well, I thought no one, but uh, Bakary Sanya can run at uh, the Chelsea defence here, but he's oh, he's dwelled on it too long. Could Chelsea build something? Drogba's on. That's an interesting change. But Diego Costa now. Joe Hart, again, keeps us in the game. This is a frantic end to what's been a very good match. Uh, I have to say, 43 shots in total either side. Very evenly matched as well. Mangala can launch something here. Aguero, he's all on his own against two, so he's going to have to do some sort of hold-up play. Jovetic now. He goes forward, he scores! It's Jovetic! It's 3-2! A counter-attacking goal! And we need to hold on to this now. Stefan Jovetic could possibly be saving Manchester City. And we've deserved that. We've had the best of the second half. Stefan Jovetic, the super sub, brought on for Dzeko, really benefiting from Aguero's hold-up play. It's Man City 3, it's Chelsea 2, and let's not celebrate too prematurely because we've got another highlight here in this fantastic end to the game. Aguero's clean through, but he's surrounded by defenders. He's gone through Courtois! <laughs> what a finish from Aguero! It's 4-2 now. Um, have you got overload, Marzi? Have you gone overload? Because that's what happens when you go overload. It's 4-2 now, and the game is beyond any doubt. What a win this is going to be. Right, so after that goal, the game kicked me out. I wasn't able to enjoy the, enjoy the final whistle of that monumental victory. Fantastic flurry of goals at the end of the half, of the second half. Great win for us. I, I, I knew if I just tweaked my tactics a little bit to something that I don't know was sort of more tried and tested that I would be able to get the result that I know I can get. Absolutely delighted with the win. So I'm about to jump into a Skype call with Marzi Gaming HD uh, just to get his perspective. Did you go overload at the end? Because I, I might have done. <laughs> I called it. I called it in my video. Yeah, the formation was a bit off. <laughs> Formation was great. No complaints about the formation. It was a battle of some very good hipster. <laughs> I even played Drogba. That's how desperate I was. <laughs> I saw that. I thought, bloody hell, he's lost it. When it was 2 all though, I think I deserved to win. We had so many chances, and then I went too attacking, and you broke. Yeah, that's right. I think I just held my nerve a bit more when it was level, and when... You know, both of us had to roll the dice. I think that's probably what won me the game. But I'd say the chance creation was fairly even. I, w I wouldn't say... Well, in the first half you created more, but it was yeah. even in the second half, definitely. Yeah, I just had loads of chances in that 80th minute, which I probably should have put away, especially Hazard. Oh, good God, Joe Hart's double save. Oh, yeah. Mental. I, he's, <laughs> why can't he do that in real life for England? Yeah, Remy shot and then it re rebounded to Hazard. I mean, rebounds are never saved, but somehow. <laughs> it's programmed into the game for them to be never be saved, but somehow Joe Hart broke the programming and bloody yeah. hell, just produced an amazing double save. Then you scored, brought Drogba on and it all went a bit bad. <laughs> That's two what happens when you bring Drogba on. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was more of a two at back, to be honest. But <laughs> oh, the second goal, I must say, it was very good. I'd never seen that before. Two defenders linking up with, together with headers. Oh, Terry and Kale. <laughs> Can you get any more Chelsea than that? You can't. Very well played. <laughs> uh, I was, when Jovetic scored your fourth goal, I was like chanting the Aguero chant because I thought it was him and it wasn't. So that's been embarrassing. <laughs> uh, it might have been. Edit that out. <laughs> yeah, uh, no. just a bit. <laughs> Might edit the bit out where you start Love scoring more. <laughs> <laughs> just, just end it before the Yaya Tori <laughs> But Seriously, yeah. though, I'm, I'm looking at the table now. Just get it up. Two points. 
absolute cruising the league. Might as well end it up now, aren't we? I, I would take that. I'd take a <laughs> lovely little default victory. <laughs> oh. Nobody else playing. I was really, really debating whether just to park the bus when it were too all. Because a draw at the end of the day wouldn't have been bad. I said at the time, you know what, I'd take a draw now. But I, I felt lucky at the start to get that penalty. But oh, yeah. I was so mad, Willy. Willy on. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, you, what happens when you play wingers in that defensive position. I know. Uh, but now I'm bottom of the table, behind people that haven't even played a game. It's annoying. Buffy's <laughs> favourites for relegation. I oh, know. It's a nightmare. I don't know. Once, uh, once everyone gets a few games in, I'm sure there'll be worse defeats than four two. Yeah. I'm calling well, a six 0 on someone's part. Corey and you were playing today, aren't they? So hopefully they'll lose <laughs> one of them anyway. Yeah, pretty badly. Yeah. I'm definitely looking forward to that. Yeah. So I've had a couple people comment on my intro asking if they can join, but they haven't replied to my comment yet. So. Well, yeah, get that reply in because we're looking yeah. to expand as much as we can. Uh, we don't want to just stop at six people. I know. should be brilliant when we expand a bit more. Yeah, when we get a proper league system in, it's going to be great and we can stop playing friendlies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, I think that's all we need to talk about really, isn't it? Definitely. We've covered everything. Yeah. GG. Good game. Hopefully. We'll play again, play definitely. Again soon. Yeah. Goodbye. See you later. Okay then, guys. That is going to be it for this episode. Uh, the table is coming up on your screen now. Uh, so I am leading. Um, two points clear of everyone else. Marzi Gaming HD there. Minus one points, but the most pointless table considering there's only been one game so far. That's going to be it anyway. And I will see you guys in the next match.